Shweta, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Bangalore. Sometimes customers ask me if it's possible to allow users to sign in through Google when using an Amazon Cognito user pool. Amazon Cognito allows you to add social land providers such as Google or Facebook using federation settings on the Amazon Cognito user pools. However, before we create a social IDP with Amazon Cognito, we must register our application with Google to receive our client ID and a client secret. So let's get started. First, access your Google API console with your Google account. Now, choose APIs and services and select dashboard. On the dashboard, choose create project. Under new project, enter a project name. For location, choose browse and then select location. Choose create. After creating the project, choose the OAuth consent screen option on the left navigation pane and fill the form. At minimum, you must provide your application name and have amazoncognito.com as an authorized domain. Let's quickly navigate through the form and fill these required details. First, select the user type and choose create. I'm choosing the user type as external for demonstration purpose. Now provide a name for your application. Enter your user support email. Choose an application logo if you have one. You can provide details for app domain for requirements. I'm leaving it blank for now. For authorized domains, choose add domain and enter amazoncogto.com. Next, provide your developer email. Choose save and continue. Scopes are not required for configuration, so choose save and continue. No need to configure any test users. Choose save and continue. In the summary page, verify that you entered the required application name and authorized domain details. Choose back to dashboard. Let's now move on to credentials page to get over 2.0 client credentials. On the credentials page, choose create credentials and then choose over the client ID. For application type, choose web application. Enter a name for your OAuth client ID. We'll enter the authorized JavaScript origin later after we configure our Amazon Cogdo user pool. Choose create to create an auth client. After the creation, we get the client ID and client secret. Note them either in your editor or download the JSON. We'll need them when configuring Google IDP in your Amazon Cognito user pool. Let's now configure Amazon Cognito user pool with default settings. Sign into your AWS management console and navigate to Amazon Cognito dashboard. Select add user directories to app in the drop down list and then choose create user pool. Select federated anti providers checkbox and choose the attributes in your user pool that are used to sign in. I'm choosing email for this demonstration. Next, choose Google for federated sign-in options and choose Next. Let's keep the default password policy. Select the type of MFA method if you want to have MFA authentication for your Amazon Cognito users. This doesn't apply for federated users. Let's keep the default selection for account recovery. Choose Next. Choose the settings for self-service sign-up and attribute verification and account confirmation for your requirements. I'm using the default settings. Select the attributes you want to have on your user pool. Email is automatically selected for me based on my previous selections of the configuration. Choose next. For email setting, let's choose send email with Cognito for now. Choose next. Paste the client ID and secret you noted earlier from Google. Enter profile email open ID for authorized scopes. Select email from the drop down list under Google attribute for mapping the usable attribute. Choose next. Enter a domain name. The entered domain names are dynamically checked for its availability. Make sure that the domain name you entered is available. Provide a name for your app client. Enter applications callback URL. This is the URL of the page where your user is redirected to after a successful authentication. For testing purposes, I'm using google.com as a callback URL. Expand advanced app client settings. 
for O 2.2 CRAN types, choose only implicit CRAN for now. Let's leave the default settings for remaining. Choose next. Review all settings. Copy the complete domain name and keep it in your note. It is required for Google Federation configuration. Choose create user pool. Let's now go back to Google API credentials page and complete the configuration of OAuth app client. Under credentials page, select the app client that you created. Choose add URI for authorized JavaScript origins. Paste the complete Amazon Concto domain name that you copied earlier. Choose add URI for authorized redirect URIs. Paste your Amazon Concto domain name and append it with slash over to slash IDP response. Choose save. We'll now test the setup by navigating to hosted UI. Go back to your Amazon Cognito user pool. Select the user pool that you created. Move to app integration tab and then scroll down to the bottom. Select your app client and then choose view hosted UI option. Now we are presented with the sign in page. Choose continue with Google to sign in with your Google credentials. After successful authentication, you are redirected to the callback URL that you set on your app client. You can see the JWT tokens issued by Amazon Cognito in the URL. As you can see, we have successfully set up Amazon Cognito user pool with Google as a social IDP. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.